All right, hi Sage, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48, episode 27 and 28 for Sage, Sagey. Sun, moon, rising in the north node. All right, so I don't have anything for you, Claire, audiently Sage, so we're gonna get a break deck message for you as well. All right, I just wanna check something really quickly, sorry. All right. All right, cool. Okay, so Sage, sun, moon, rising in the north node. All right, important messages. Give me a, a random yet significant mes message for Sage. All right, let's see. All right, so we have the Hermit card. So I'm getting be quiet, silence is golden, or something is really quiet, eerily quiet. Okay, so we're going to take that card. Definitely getting, so I'm getting something about a Virgo. This Virgo is really quiet, or you're really watching this person, really studying them, or this person's really studying you. All right, so let's see. We have the Ten of Swords, or they were, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Wow. So somebody's, I feel like somebody's stalking you. Like this period, I'm, I'm getting it's a Virgo or a Geminian, all right? Or somebody's waiting on you. I'm getting excessive waiting. Like, I hear like, I'm getting like somebody is waiting in silence, or like someone's waiting in the dark. Yeah, so I feel like you're in the dark about something. You're in the dark about this Virgo. So I, I feel like you, you may feel like lost. Or you may have you you may feel like you have no connection at all with this Virgo. There's no connection. You can't you don't understand them. You can't talk to them. You can't communicate with them. You can't get to them. Somebody is very hard to penetrate. I feel like you can't figure somebody out. They're too damn quiet. They don't talk. So you could be waiting for somebody to speak or waiting for somebody to post to see what they say. It's I, I, yeah. I feel like somebody's impenetrable or something is. Yeah, so I feel like if you're waiting on the hermit, you're going to be waiting because, I mean, okay, yeah, so, yeah, somebody's dead silent, man, okay? Or like there's no, you don't, you don't feel connected to this Virgo or this torrent at all. Like you can't even begin to, I mean, I feel like there's nothing, you, you feel nothing for this person. Okay, let's see, wow. All right, so I'm getting, I'm getting, you may just wake up and like you, you, you know, your, your feelings completely change for someone. I feel like it's something that they did. Somebody is going to do something unforgivable or they say something unforgivable or you just lose all respect or all feeling for this person or something like that. All right. All right, you don't, you just don't understand them. Like, I don't get you. Yeah, we have the will of fortune. Okay, so I'm getting, you're going to meet somebody by chance or you met somebody by chance or something. I'm getting a chance. Yeah, the sun card. So I'm getting a chance to do something or a chance to maybe get to know this Virgo, meet this Virgo. Actually, you know, I feel like I feel like get to know this person for yourself is kind of what I'm hearing. Because I'm getting you don't really understand what's going on or you don't really understand them. You want to, I'm getting you're going to have a chance to get to know someone. Yeah, we, uh, damn, here's that. There's the hermit card again. Yeah, we have the seven of wands and then we have the king of wands. I'm getting you, you're going to find out that somebody's actually really fun. You guys have a lot in common. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting like somebody's, a, somebody's an introvert, but I'm getting when you're around them, they are so fucking fun to be around. Like somebody has a lot of spunk and pet and they're very exciting and they're very confident and beautiful and they have a lot of passion about them. But I'm getting in public, somebody's very quiet, they say nothing. They're non-responsive, they don't care, they're nonchalant, Virgo shit. All right, so I'm, I'm, and I'm getting, I'm getting too... They ignore everyone. They ignore maybe you. They ignore the people around them. They ignore their messages. They ignore their calls. They, I feel like this person's not, they're not talkative. They don't like small talk or they give very, they give very little of their attention away. You really have to pry or like work hard or keep bugging them or fuss at them to get their attention. All right. But I'm getting, once you have their attention, you have it and you, you can't get enough of it. Somebody just showers you with love, showers you with attention, showers you with bright light. Yeah, so I, I feel like I feel like you can't wait to see this person coming. You're like Virgo, you like Virg, Virg, Virgo, Virg. Like I feel like you're bugging them. Like you have to bug this person. All right, they're they're very standoffish, okay. But I'm getting when you get to know them, you love them. To know them is to love them. Or I'm also getting to something about God. Yeah, if you know God, you love him. Like if you know the real God, yeah, he did shout out God. Like hey, yeah, you know the real God, he he shit. All right, so yeah, I'm getting to know him is to love him. So I'm, I'm hearing Virgo the God, or, v, or you're, this is a Virgo. What's the seven of wands? I'm getting, 
I'm getting at first you are going to reject this person or you find them to be boring or dry or too quiet, too inactive. But I'm getting like when you start talking to me like, wow, you're so deep or you know all this or yeah, because the hermit is into they're into hermetics. They're into uh, ancient teachings, knowledge, very intelligent. All right. What's the uh, seven of wands? Yeah, we have the temperance card and there you are. Yeah, I'm also getting two. Somebody has the ability to temper you. Or even like I feel like you have a some you can be very violent sage or you are, you could be very tactless but I feel like somebody can handle that shit somebody just sucks it up it's nothing all right because I'm gonna I'm gonna like you say hurtful shit or you say whatever comes to your mind usually you have to bite your tongue because people are so sensitive they don't understand you all right now you could have a Virgo moon it makes you it can make you really bitchy if you have a Virgo moon and you a sage son damn all right or something like that I'm getting sage Virgo combination. <laughs> But that's that's harsh energy though. I'm, okay, so three of swords, yeah. So I'm getting you could be very hurtful, but not this person doesn't. They're not sensitive. They don't get hurt by shit. They have very tough skin. Yeah, Leo energy, strength card, impenetrable. All right. So what's the King of Wands? I feel like somebody just plays along with your shit or like you. Okay, what's this, what's the King of Wands? Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Yes, it, I'm getting. It doesn't matter what you say or do to this person. You're always gonna have their support. So I'm, I'm definitely getting it's another fire sign. It could be another sage like yourself or a baby boss, all right? Or it could be a Virg. It could be a VTG. They just don't, they don't mind, okay? Yeah, we have the page of wands. Yeah, I'm, so I'm getting like when you get good news, they're happy about it. They're happy that you're getting good news. They, they love when you get good news. They love when you're happy. They support you. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also getting to you're being patronized a lot by this Leo or by this fire sign. They're really patronizing you or they're really supporting you. I'm getting monetarily. Or like somebody's giving you a gift. Someone's giving you gifts. Okay, what's the page of pentacles and the six of pentacles? I'm also getting to like somebody wants to prove to you how much money they have or how generous they really they truly can be. Someone's like, nah, I'm not like that or it's not like that. Oh, right, yeah, we have the eight of swords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have the king of pentacles. I'm getting, I'm getting to don't take something personal. This is how this person is with everyone. If it's, a, if it's a VTG, yeah, they're like that with everybody. They're sarcastic with everyone. They ignore everyone. They're fucking mean to everybody. What's the hermit card? Or they're just like this. They're just a hermit. They, yeah, we have the high priestess. Yeah, I'm de yeah, Virgo Pisces, real strong. Somebody has really strong energy. So I'm getting it's a hermit. I'm getting you're dealing with a psychic or dealing with a Virgo, just period. Virgo Pisces combination. Okay, yeah, we have the Queen of Cups, but you love it. You love them, though. <laughs> I feel like somebody's like Virgo Fire, like Mix, or they could be Virgo Leo Cusp. Ooh. Ooh, Sage. Okay, what's the, yes, what's the Hermit card and the High Priestess? That's bomb. That's bomb as fuck. Okay, the, the, the Ace of Pentacles. So there's going to be a new opportunity with this person. All right, I'm getting it. This is your energy. All right, I'm getting like somebody's paying you for, somebody's patronizing you. They're paying you for your services. But I, I feel like your silence, you being quiet, or you being a hermit is the reason why somebody trusts you. It, you, you, it makes you more trustworthy. People trust you more because, you, because you're quiet. They can trust you with their secrets. You're not extravagant. All right, or this person is not like that. You can trust this person with your secrets. They're not going to tell your secrets. They're not going to out you. They're not going to do no shit like that. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. They're very forgiving. So this is a, this is a beautiful energy, all right? I'm also getting too like someone's gonna bail you out of jail. Like if you turn yourself in, someone's gonna bail you out. All right, I, I don't know why I'm saying that a lot in the readings, jail and shit. All right, what's the eight? What's the uh, eight of cups? I feel like too somebody's telling you to turn yourself in, like turn yourself in or quit or something like that. What's the or give up? Somebody's telling you to surrender. You're like nah. What's the eight of cups? We have the nine of cups. Yeah, do you okay? I feel like if nobody supports you, this BT, this Virgo does or this Leo does. All right, I feel like this, this is two very important people. So you may not have the support of the public or you may not have the support of the majority, but you have the support of the few important people or, the, or somebody very significant here. You have three of pentacles. All right, what's the will of fortune? Is the will of fortune? Yeah, we have the we have the King of Cups and we have the Strength card. Yeah, somebody's a somebody's a loyal friend. I'm getting that Leo energy again. So I'm definitely getting a Leo Virgo cusp or like somebody with very very strong tendencies. All right, leaning towards these those signs. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles. All right. Hmm. 
Yeah, I heard that. I'm getting you're not going to want for anything. Like, somebody's willing to support you. I'm also getting, too, like, if you want to quit your job, someone's like, fuck it, quit it. Fuck that job. I got you. All right? Or, like, I feel like somebody encourages you in every way. Whatever you want, somebody's like, yeah, okay, that's cool, too. Or, like, whatever. Like, whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah. So I feel like this, this person really makes you feel good about yourself, Sage. They are, they're very supportive of you in every way. All right. But I, I feel like at the same time they annoy you because you still feel you still feel rejected by them or you feel you still feel neglected by them because they're a hermit. Maybe they're not they're not they don't give you sex. They're not very sexual. Okay, and I'm I'm getting that's definitely important for you, the sex part. All right, what's the ace of pentacles? Or like the attention part, you know, you wanna, you know. You want that passion, that fire. We have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Two of Swords. So I, I feel like you're conflicted about this person. I feel like you like them, you love them. At the same time, they don't give you what you need fully. You, you're not getting what you need. All right. I feel like they're, they are not communicative enough for you, or they're not blunt enough, or they're not sexual enough, or something like that. But I'm getting they teach you a whole bunch of shit. They're very patient, supportive, whatever you want, whatever you need. All right. They help you stand up for yourself. So I'm getting like you have you have quite the dilemma here. It's like you're trying to decide if you want to stay or go or if you should stay or go. Like I feel like you're you don't know, you're confused, but I feel like you're wrapped up in this person. You don't you I'm getting every time you try to walk away, you come back. You just you just can't walk away for good or something. Yeah, we have astrology destiny because I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting this person is destined to be in your life. All right, you're de I'm getting you're destined to be with the hermit. <laughs> wow, that's okay. Or you're destined to be a hermit, okay? So I'm getting if you have North Node and Sage, yeah, the hermit, you need to keep the hermit in your life. The hermit's going to help you become a sage, a wise person, all right? So I'm getting that's why you can't leave this person alone. I'm getting, too, you're not supposed to be in love with the hermit, okay? The hermit is a teacher. The hermit is your teacher or your mentor. So I feel like you're like, man, why can't we be closer or, like, I feel like you want something sexual with them or you want them to be more something like that. <laughs> I'm getting you, I don't know what you're doing, Sage, but I feel like, you know, the Hermit is there, to, you know, for certain reasons, all right, the ghost, perception, yeah, they're there to change your perception. They're, they're, they're there to create a paradigm shift for you. They're, very, they're there to teach you. Yeah, the Hermit and the Sag and the, uh, the Temperance card, that's a hell of a teacher. Yeah, you hear those sirens, it's an omen too. Yeah, we have mystic. Yeah, so I'm getting like, I'm getting, you are becoming a hermit. You're becoming a mystic. You're becoming a sage. The hermit is a friend, all right, that you, that you want to sleep with. You want to bone the hermit. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.